Hey going guys, Mark here from Dino Paints. On this video, I've got two scuba diving tanks which I'll be painting in this video. These tanks were actually given to us from PT at Pink Tank Scuba. Now she's come in the showroom, she's picked out two colors which she wants these tanks painted in, and she even gave her a personal name of Pink Mermaid. Now, to get that Pink Mermaid color, she's actually chosen our Pink Peel Profile Base Coat with the Atlantic Tide color shift pearl over the top. So on the screen right now, just to give you guys a bit more insight into the color, we've got our pink pill shape on the left, our Atlantic Tide color shift shape in the middle, and then on the right hand side, you've got the color shift pearl over the pink pill. So that's what the color is gonna look like. Now I'll be painting uh, one tank all with aerosol cans and one with a spray gun. So with that said guys, I'll run you through all the products that I'll be using from start to finish and there'll be links for PT's uh, Facebook page down in the description and also all the products that I've used in this video. Here's our Normfest 1K uh, multi-connector primer. Now this is really great. I hope that's in focus. It is in focus, yeah. So <laughs> this is a really good primer because uh, it's multi-connector, which means it can be applied over any like mild steel, aluminium, stainless, timbers, and even plastics. And it's wet and wet, which means there's no need to sand this primer once it's been applied. So let's give this a really good shake. It is a, a rather thick product in it, so I do recommend giving this can a shake for a good 15 minutes. I know that sounds like a long time, but it's one of those things, the more you shake, the better it's gonna work. So give it a good shake, and we'll start applying probably three to four coats of the 1K multi-connector, um, and then allow it to sit for 10 minutes at roughly 20 to 25 degrees, then we can start painting our base coats. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Because our primer is a wet and wet primer, we can now start applying our base coat colors. Because we're painting our pink peel, we do require a white ground coat. So for that, we will be using our Profile Base Coat Pure White. So we will be doing one in aerosol and one with a spray gun. Let's get into it. All right guys, our pink peel's been laid down over the pure white. We got full coverage in two coats. Now it's time to apply our Color Shift Pearl Atlantic Tide. Now, as I said at the start of the video, I will be doing one with aerosol cans and one with a spray gun. Now, if you like the look of this color combination and maybe you've painted a similar color but with a different colored ground coat and a different colored color shift pearl, let me know down in the comments below and give it a name. You may even have your custom name put on that color. So with that said, let's turn the booth back on and get into it.
All right, we've applied three and a half coats of the Color Shift Pearl Atlantic Tide over the top of the pink peel. It's time now to apply a 2K clear coat. So for the aerosol tank, we've got our Normfest 2K clear. Really great product, very glossy, very easy to use. Now to activate the can, simply take the red button off the lid, apply it at the base of the can, press that little button in, and give it a really good shake for 10 to 15 minutes. Once it's all shaken up, apply two wet coats with 10 minutes between coats and your job is done. Now for the spray gun tank, we will be using our custom clear, mix four to one and same coats and flush off times apply. With that said, let's get into it. <laughs> 